Too much sauce. Too much sauce. Too much sauce, baby. Too much sauce. That's what I'm gonna name this episode. <laughs> <laughs> I am. Food and sports. Two of the things I love the most. From the football fields at Wake Forest, straight to your kitchen. The best, the tastiest of restaurants. The biggest, the brightest of guests. Charlotte, North Carolina is my home. This is West Guy Range. West Guy Range is back, episode 12. We're here at Soul Food Meat Company. And let me tell you something right now. This place doesn't aim to be the traditional Korean spot, nor do they claim to be the traditional Southern barbecue spot. They rest right there in the middle and want to offer you dishes that you can't find at either one of them. Sounds like it's going to be fantastic. I got Jason Capel, two-time All-ACC, North Carolina Tar Heel great, took the heels to the Final Four in the year 2000. We're gonna be talking Final Four. We're gonna be breaking it down, talking some hoops. So hey, man, let's go in here and uh, <laughs> eat it up. Back in the kitchen here, Soul Food Meat Company, with my man the GM, my man Dave, and we're back here. We're about to journey to the sea, the first for West Guy Range. We're gonna show them prepping the fried whole tilapia. It looks like that right now, but it ain't gonna look like that in a little while. What we're doing now is just this little. Uh, Seasoning a flower that we found to add a right amount of flavor. Okay, I've never seen it done that way. Additionally, what this does is allow us to deep fry it without burning the outside and get that crisp that you're looking for so it gets that texture for it. Okay, drop it down, drop it. Crack it open and let it sit for about right. six minutes there. All right, to take this out. Look at that, we'll call him Oscar. <laughs> is that too we'll much? Oscar out of this basket. <laughs> And the sauce we're putting on is mom's sauce. We grew up eating this sauce with a lot of our seafoods there. Your mom made it? Uh, influenced by all our moms <laughs> for the most part. Um, uh, yeah, the main two components of this sauce is gonna be uh, sesame oil and soy sauce there. Okay. And as you can see for texture, we added uh, sesame seeds as well. Pat the That's spine, good. dig into the meat, pull okay. it towards you, you'll peel it right off the bone uh -huh. there. All right, guys, here we go. More TV gold. Never have fish with the head on them before. Let's see what we got. Good sesame flavor. Good salt and pepper flavor on the fish. Definitely got a little kick to it. Excellent. Love it. Sorry, Oscar. Look at the spread that we have here. It's phenomenal. It's about to go down right now. And I've got UNC Gray, two-time All-ACC, ESPN and Raycom, Basketball, college basketball analyst Jason Capo, right here. What's going on, my man? My man. All right, so we're gonna try to do as much damage as we can. You gonna help yeah. out with this? No, I'm jumping in. Okay, all right. Let's get right to it. Man. Yeah. Coming out of New Jersey. Okay. Chose the North Carolina Tar Heels. What made you choose one of the hollow places in college basketball to forge your four-year career? What was it about Carolina? Well, I was born in North Carolina. We moved around a bunch. My dad was a coach. But if you're from North Carolina, it's very simple. You either want to go to North Carolina or you want to go to Duke. Okay. I didn't uh, want to go to either one of those. <laughs> <laughs> so if Coach Smith comes in your living room, it's hard to tell him no. Okay. Um, so those are dreams come true for me. Their style of play, watching Jerry Stackhouse, Rasheed Wallace, Jeff McGinnis, and after that, Antoine Jameson, Vince Carter, those guys, that's what made me want to go be a part of that culture, that family. And uh, wear that baby blue run out that tunnel and play the game though. <laughs> oh my God. Dream come true. Carolina Duke rivalry. Though. Yeah. Even though I wasn't a fan of either of the schools, I yep. still respect the rivalry. Yep. I don't miss a game. But just take us inside of that rivalry. What makes it so special? What's it like? And then give me your favorite moment from when you played against the Blue Devils. Well, I was able to see it from both sides. Yeah. I was a Cameron crazy for four years. Yeah. So you see what it is from that angle. Yeah. Being in Cameron Indoor Stadium as a fan, uh -huh. seeing how the fans taunt the bus when it pulls up, how they taunt the players from North Carolina when they're warming up on the floor. Mm -hmm. The floor is moving under you. You can see it. The wow. fans are jumping all around. You have Hall of Fame coaches on both sidelines. So many great players, there's nothing like it. So now you move into the Ram as a player. Now you're the one being taunted. Exactly. You're the one where they're saying Jeff is better. Yeah. Clap, clap, clap. <laughs> oh. The time, the, 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 before the game begins and before the TD rolls, again, you can feel the floor under you. It's moving. It's moving. That's incredible. It's moving under your feet. 
You know the whole world is watching. Uh -huh. Everyone has this thing circled on their calendar. There's nothing like it. I got dumped on pretty bad by Mike Dunleavy in that game. Oh. Cramped up, tried to take a charge, help a teammate. I think I remember that. But I also caught a body because I have a, a painting uh, in my house of Shane Batty ain't trying to take a charge. And oh, you know he loves to take those charges. I'm a right-hander <laughs> and I dunk left-handed. Able to slide by the charge. You guys go to the Final Four and you get 2,000. Yep, my sophomore year. What's that experience like? What are these guys gonna go through this weekend when they go play in the Final Four? Well, it, it's different. This team and most Carolina teams are a number one seed. My sophomore year, we were very young. You know, we were leading scorer with the freshman, Joseph Forte. Yeah. Brendan Haywood uh, was a junior who hadn't played much yeah. um, up until that point. Ed Coda was really our lone senior. Yeah. I was a sophomore, Chris Lang was a sophomore. People forget our sixth man, Julius Peppers, Hall of Famer. Welcome back to the Panthers. <laughs> Glad to have you back home, fella. We underachieved during the year, but we came together at the right time, and that's what March Madness is all about. So this Carolina team, team should be ready because this is a season team. They were there just a year. They're an older team. And they're an older team who were four seconds away from going into overtime in the national championship and having a chance to win. Uh, they have older players who have that experience in the big game, in the big moments. So I think they're primed for another opportunity, all right. which they've been waiting for all year to possibly cut down the Nets. All right, well, we're going to find out who he thinks that is going to cut down the Nets after this, but hey, we can't leave this nah, thing too long. It's time good. to get down. It's time to do what we came here for. Might be the blooper reel. Okay. There we go. There we go. Look at that. Look at that. Potatoes. I'm a fool with all this chicken. Uh huh. Chicken good. Might be my wings. Those are big wings. You got me feeling a little crazy with this devil there. I don't know about this one. Let me see. Bad. We did a good job. So let's talk Final Four. Yep. We got Oregon, Carolina, South Carolina, surprise, yeah. surprise, going up against Gonzaga. Who do you see coming out of these games? I have South Carolina. Obviously, I'm not going against my right. heels, right? 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 Even though, surprise, surprise. Oregon's a good team. Yes. They're older, veteran players. Dorsey's shooting a ridiculous 65% from three. Uh, and who's cutting the next? But Carolina's just too big, too strong, four seconds away from going to overtime, having a chance to win. Redemption. This has been the redemption season. <laughs> yeah. The Hills get back to the championship, a battle of the Carolinas. Yeah. Too much sauce, Hills. Too much sauce. <laughs> Hills bring it back home. Right? I hate to say it, man, but I have to agree with you. I think Gonzaga the disrespect card, though, with them. I can see them get to the final game. I can see that. Against Carolina. Um, they got that me against the world attitude yep. because nobody believes in them. They haven't the whole this time. This is their moment. They finally got it. Yeah, I'm going to go Gonzaga, Carolina, and... Go ahead and say Go ahead and say it's everybody in here. North Carolina. <laughs> North Carolina. <laughs> oh, my God. I can't do this. Oh, my God. Will, you too? <laughs> I can't do this. man. But, hey, what do you think about the food that we had here? Soul food. This is pretty good stuff, and man. Food is like? amazing. Would you it like? It's amazing. The chicken wings. Yeah, the wings. Phenomenal. Yeah. These little potato deals we have going on. <laughs> the chicken yeah. here with the, the hot cheese. Was good. The cheese, yeah. as, as Rose would say, the okay. cheese <laughs> with <laughs> the sauce on yeah, top. Yeah, for sure. It is, it's all really and good. We love the pork belly, the pulled pork. Yeah. You know, like I said, that beef rib was phenomenal. So come on down here, Soul Food Meat Company. Check it out, delicious food. Another episode of West Got Range in the books. We out, and as always, remember to uh, eat it up. <laughs>